Hey guys, welcome back to the booth review. It's been a while, mm -hmm. but we mm -hmm. are back because we have some more movies to watch and it's been an exciting review. Exciting weekend, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we have some movies that we're going to review. So this one specifically is for Mulan, which came out on Disney Plus. So that's very exciting. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. So you do have to buy it. It is the what is it called? Premier Access. Is I that believe you're right. Yes, Premier Access. So. We purchased it because, of course, I'm a Disney fanatic, so I had to watch it. I personally have always loved Mulan because the score to me is personally the best. Oh, if the animated not in, version, yeah. In the animated, and hands down one of the best scores for the animated. So I was very excited. I was, once we heard that they were making it and it wasn't a musical, I was nervous because, like I said, the music and the songs have always been crucial to my like existence uh but they did good with the music because they did the songs as like the score so yeah. you still get to hear them you just don't get to like hear the words no lyrics yeah yeah just... no lyrics just the song or just like the the music so other than that i liked it i liked we were discussing this like right afterwards but visually disney did another amazing job visually with the scenery and the like production cin cinematography yeah and the cinematography for so sure. i think that's the strongest parts of the movie are the cinematography and the, it is visually the, like the, amazing uh, the production design yeah. yes score was one point i think that the actress did amazing who the was lead, Mulan. Yeah. yeah she did great i loved her i think that she portrayed her like innocence well and her just like the kind of if you know the uh, regular movie like just how she didn't feel like she belonged to where she needs to be like I felt the innocence I felt like the the outcastness yeah I felt I felt it from her and I thought she did a really I great job I think some of the times when it missed a mark I don't think it was because of her no I think it's because of the story yes like how they decided to work this story compared to right the animated so movie. like yeah. you don't want to compare them too much I mean you have to you have to. It's literally but you have to. The animated movie pulled it off better. Agreed. Just like we we discussed before in like Lion King, to us the magic wasn't there, mm -hmm. and that's the whole thing is Disney magic. Yeah. So, other than if you didn't say it was a Disney movie, it was a good movie. But because we know where it came from, we know what it was yeah. before. Our they, expectations they kind of relied were higher. On you. They kind of relied on the people already seeing the animated version right. to make sense of what's happening in this one. Yeah, because like I said, there's no music, there's like no musical numbers, and there's no Mushu, which was a big part in the in the yeah, animated one. Because yeah, 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 so the whole thing is like the Phoenix and things like that. So you'll have to watch it to understand. But I mean, for me personally, I think you should see it. I don't know if I would spend thirty dollars to see it if you are like a single. Or, like, don't have a family that it would cost as much to go to the theater. It is coming in December, March, I mean, uh, December, December 4th, 4th to Disney Plus free. Me, personally, I would wait. But I reviewed these, so we had to watch it. Yeah, and I, it's I Disney, agree. So. Um, totally agree with everything you said. The music was fine. Uh, I wish it was, like, cranked up a little bit more in some areas. Yeah. It was a little um, low. Yeah, it, like it's funny because we're gonna do another video later where some of it, some of the music was overblown, yes. maybe, and this one it was very subdued. Yes. Uh, where I wish it was more. Mm -hmm. Um, the choreography too, the fight scenes were the actually pretty good. The fight scenes were on point, guys. That that was amazing. Yes, yeah, so, and I wish there was more because I feel like other movies, like older movies, did it better. Like thinking of like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yeah. Like, like, I felt like they did kind of the wire act stuff better mm -hmm. than this did. All, and they spent a lot of money on this mm -hmm. movie. So, I would I thought it would have been better. I mean, it was fine. It was good. Just thought it would have been better. Um, cinematography and the, uh, the production design, I think, are the strengths of the movie. It looks really good. Christina's song was amazing. Yes. There you go. I've There's always, your music. I always loved her song. And this her one's new good, one. too. It's not as impactful or as good as Reflection. No. But it's still a good song. It's a very good song. Yeah. And um, one of the weak points for me, though, in this movie is the editing and the direction. Right. Because it's just, like, how they edit it, especially in the beginning, like, I thought they were going to be more graceful, especially from the trailers. Uh, the trailers were better than the movie, in my opinion, how they edited it. 
and it just didn't turn out that way, which was disappointing. Right. Um, but overall, it, it's fine. It's it's a fine movie. It's not like a, it's a horrible movie. It's not. Right. It's not. It, it's worth your time if you want to spend the money. I agree with you, and it's funny enough. I was gonna say, let's get our scores, guys. It's, it's funny ready? enough. I kind of made a little note. I was Can going we see to. It? Milan. I gave it a C plus, and it says wait until December fourth to see it on for Disney Plus because it's it's free on Disney Plus on December. 4th. And at this I, point, I literally was gonna write the same note, but I didn't. <laughs> but I'm also at a C plus because. Yeah. It's not bad. It's, it's just okay. fine. It's middle and of the pack for me. Middle yeah, of the pack. Yeah, so. and I will say Disney needs to they need to figure out something with these live action movies because eventually people are going to get tired of seeing mediocre live action movies. Mm-hmm. That's just the truth. I'm real nervous for Little Mermaid, guys, because that's our next yeah. one. And Cruella de Vil. I mean, hello. Yeah, that's got Emma Stone in it, so we'll see. hopefully she brings something to it. But yeah. All right. Well... I think that's pretty much yeah. where we're at right now. Sorry it's not more in-depth. Okay. I mean, we all kind of know the story of Milan. Yeah. It's kind of the same in this one. Some different aspects of it. But. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. Um, we have, we're have we going to have some more later coming. Maybe not today, but hopefully soon. We have Tenant review was. coming. And then we've started watching The Boys. So, we have mm. some of those coming. Episodes 1 through 3. We'll probably yep. review that. Make sure to hit that like button. Comment below that you're... We've seen this. Tell us what your thoughts of the movie are. Maybe you absolutely loved it. So we'd love to hear from you. We love hearing and discussing movies. Uh, Also, if you didn't know, we have a Facebook page called The Booth Review. We do fun polls on there. So we would love for you to check it out. So come see us. Comment. Subscribe. Hit that little bell button. Where is it at? Is it here? Is it there? I don't. It's somewhere along the border. In here, there's going to be like a little bell. Hit the bell and hit the thumbs up button. All right, guys. Thanks as always. Have a good one. Happy holidays. Oh, bye. Yeah, bye.